something then that Paul continued to creatively apply with me. First thing I learned from Ephesians 4, 11, 12, that Baptist never did complete the Reformation. Uh, we got everything that's right. So enough and see and always on the point that pieces of truth that, that are there for us, but we did not uh, complete the Reformation in terms of uh, thanks sir. That's the problem a little bit. Yes. Thank you. Didn't complete the Reformation in terms of uh, putting the blame to do the work of the ministry with us. We became convinced that we could do it on our own. We were paid and trained as Baptist pastors. And so because we were paid and trained, we felt like we were responsible to do it all. So burning up for Jesus is part of Dr. Maples and I had a deal for it for years when we were picking up pieces of pastors and churches. Um, because Ephesians 4, 11, 12. You continue to practice that for me. I got back into the academic community a few years ago, back in 2020, started teaching adjunct at DBU with ministry students, um, and that was one of my key focus points. And uh, then full time for a few years, and now I do ministry guidance for all of these uh, folks. And uh, I still think that's one of the missing links, and you proved it. Take it down to the basic individual believer in Christ. What's that look like? How do we train them to do the work of the ministry? How do we train them to raise up body of Christ to the equipment of the And I saw you do that. Uh, one time he didn't know I did this. I watched him one day because we were supposed to meet at a place uh, here at Starbucks and I went in to get some coffee and I happened to see Paul sitting over there witness somebody. I didn't, what's he, this guy must be somebody's known for you. He didn't know him at all. Shared his faith with somebody, didn't know Jesus, had some coffee with him. I took off and came back later and met him where we were supposed to meet. And I, again, I saw Paul practically prove what the Baptists have been saying that the one can do for years and years has to take one person at a time to Christ. Lead them to Christ, develop them in Christ, and help them to grow in Christ. And Paul, um, I remember years ago there was a speed lease. Uh, did a, did a text dealing with emerging culture. Years later, then you had Gibbs and Folgers, and Folger come in and do a thing with emerging uh, churches. Uh, you're the you're probably the only one that I know that has proven to me what the emerging leader looks like. And you do that with people who can approach their uh, Dr. Maples sends word today to you and affirms me with that because he wants to make sure that we don't forget intentional ministry in Texas. Um, we tend to let some of that slide, and I'm going to encourage you from Maples' perspective. I think if Williamson was here, although we all sense his presence sometimes, and sometimes I'm nervous to think about what the Charles Lee might say if he were here, uh, <laughs> mostly to disagree something I've said. I think he would say the same thing. I want to encourage those of you that have done this job and involved in doing this work all the time. Please don't let it go to that. Texas Baptist can slip around and forget some things. We're not careful. And uh, I pray that we don't let this. It's to, to me the most important creative process, systemic process to help churches and pastors have a good marriage. Have a strategic plan long term. And you do that. You've done it where you've been. And then one day, about six months ago, I picked up a phone call. I had some questions, theological issues going on with some folks in Texas. And some of my students are getting, are getting slanted in some perspectives that are driving me crazy. And uh, we'll get into what that 
perspective was, you might be against that. And I said, tell me, uh, what do you think about this and this and this? And well, he didn't, he didn't think twice. I said, well, this is what's going on. This is what's taking place. This is what's happening with this pastor, what's happening with this church. And he said, you can't afford to let college students to miss the whole gospel. God, so I want to thank you for that. You are Thank you. 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 Thank you.